and hello once again, everyone. So we have restarted because our mic was uh, dead for some reason. And all right. So we are doing the wealthy traveler, whatever it's called. And so, yes, pre orgies and stuff. We are playing uh, with Zombieland installed. Um, this is our settings, if you are at all interested in that. Uh, the zombies basically just attack everything that moves. <laughs> but not, like, walls. They'll only attack doors. Uh, so what that really means is that the zombies are actually going to be beneficial to us right up until raiders bust down our door. And then the zombies are going to be a very major problem. So we're doing custom, uh, commitment mode. This is losing is fun, but with threat scale set to 500%. Um, I don't know if pushing this up to 100% does anything, but, uh, we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> so, what's the plan? I need to check this water. Wonderful. Okay, so, what we're probably going to do is we're probably going to, like, start over here and mine to here, so we can just have a place to shoot at zombies. And that should be fun. But yeah, let's see what we've got here. So I'm fine with mining distance, mining distance. So um, we can do that, no problem. Let's go ahead and get that set up here. I guess we'll put our firing platform there. And it, it's okay if we have to mine distance. So that should work. And what this will do is this will give us, one, the ability to start moving this stuff over, but also, we need to... We need to unfor we need to allow ourselves to pick up all this good stuff and the things that we land with. And we're going to make a zone. Now, the zone is going to be in here. Now, that's going to be somewhat limited by this, because this is just what we've got to work with. And we may or may not be able to really close that in. Damn it. Alright, so we want this, and we're going to close in this area. That's fine, so we need... Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven or so. Uh, we might have enough. We might not. We'll have to build some out of steel, most likely, but that's okay. Okay. So now let's home over these. Yeah, that's fine. Now let's claim this and home over that. So there. And so now we need one, two, three. Two, three, maybe four. Anyway, let's claim these. And then home over those. Oh good, we only need three. That's actually good for us. So we'll put that there. And then we can put this here. We can then home over this one. Right there. So what that's gonna do is once we have all this stuff inside, we're going to slap we're gonna move this over here. We're going to put this there and roof all of that. And so that's going to help us survive. Build a roof. Sounds good. And yeah, that should work out for us. Now, of course, all this other stuff is stripped of parts and such. So it won't be all that useful to us. We will want to claim and... I guess we'll reinstall that here, right from the get-go. But all right, then, then, my boy, let's do this. All right, um, when you get here, make sure that you equip this one. And also, we're going to work until we have all of this initial stuff done, because we don't want to be here 
We don't want to be out here when the zombies show up. It's a bad time. All right, let's allow that. Let's allow this medicine, and we're good. Okay. Wait, can he? Can he build... Wait a second. So can he build roofs off of a blueprint? If so, that's crazy. Go then. Do your thing. He is a frustrated body mutter. Ah, that's it. We hit three instead of four. So that's okay. How are these doing? They're slowly decaying. That is a problem, but it is a problem that we will deal with as time goes on. So we made some changes to our microphone in the hopes that that allows us to sound just a little bit better. Let's keep an eye on Fen, make sure he doesn't go nuts. His recreation is very low, he is starved. Okay, very good. He's gonna go get us bite to eat and move this last one into place. That's good. Let's move Paul a bit lower in priority. Stop that. You can do that from the other side. And hopefully we can fit everything in there. How's this doing? Not great. But everything should be okay. Let's hold this open so we can move a bit faster. Hopefully we can get all this done. One day and 21 hours until zombies appear and start gnawing on our insides. All right, get all those in, please. Okay, cargo pods came down, that's good. Excellent, those are all done. Get all our stuff in. And uh, that should be all right at that point. Okay, now we are repairing things, so we are not going to go outside again. So we're going to uninstall this. Then we are going to reinstall. Actually, we're going to uninstall that too, just so it gets on the inside. Then we're going to reinstall it here. I have to be careful here because I need him to not actually go out. Okay, we're good. Fantastic. Go ahead and repair those things so the raiders don't break them immediately. And uh, well, the zombies will by and large leave us alone at this point. This is good. There's only one caveat. It can be really cold outside. Ooh, meat. Meat is good. One day and four hours. Until the zombies show up. Do I really want that meat? Yes. Um, I do want it. But do I want it enough to risk going outside is the real question. I could get it pretty easily. It would be a good find. So we will reinstall this inside here. We'll take this door and we will install that over here once that's done. Now Finn is going to get pissed at us pretty soon because he's working way too much. And he is recreation stalled. So. He is not a quick sleeper, so we need six here and then seven and eight. We are going to want him to have a bunch of recreation because if we don't, he's going to go berserk. He's going to grab this stuff. His mood is pretty bad. We want him to... What do you mean nutrient paste is deteriorated away? That's because this is considered outside right now. Uh, I need this get done. 
Okay. We're good. How much do we have left? More than enough. Ben, I know this is not necessarily a good thing, but uh, I need you to stay indoors. And you're going to want a bed and something to eat on. This isn't as big of an issue as you might think, but we do have steel. We have access to con some compacted steel. Uh, but we just need Ben to... Okay, zombies are going to start showing up soon. But once they start showing up, we need to stay away from them. Or die, really. Those are our choices. Why is your mood going down? Our creation stopped. Alright, I need you to just do whatever. Because if you don't, you're going to go insane. Yeah, just do whatever you need to do to become happy. So that we can have you work more. Because otherwise, you're probably going to die when the zombies show up. We'll know when the zombies show up, because uh, everything will start to lag like crazy. Now there's a mad hare here. Alright then, I know you're not going to like this, but we need to go over here. Kill it. Come on, you got this. Shoot that hare. Okay, you hit it. Go gotcha. check. Alright, get back to work. Now he's going to be extra angry because he's soaking wet. 0% threat level, that's good for us. Once that hits anything above 0%, we need to like start moving. Get within our fortifications and just forsake anything that's left out there because <laughs> otherwise we're dead uh, is five food worth it I don't think so Okay, I need to reinstall this there first, so it creates a seal. Uh, you can go get that last food if you want. That's fine. Every little bit is going to help us, because it's going to take us a while to actually get food going. Okay, that's fine. You can rest. Right up until the zombies show up, and then you need to get up and get to work. So that we aren't tasty. No, 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 do it. Okay, so, once again, we are relatively free from the zombies. Everything is fine. That's good. Now we need stone, so that we can make stuff. Huh. A major part of that is going to be over here. So what we need to do is we need to go to production. We have a stone cutter's table. That's fine. We can just slap that over here. And that should be okay. For now, this is probably fine. That um, black bear up here in the frozen north <laughs> is uh, gonna do its thing. Okay, and done. Excellent. Bills, make any stone blocks forever. The other thing is this, so because we are 
So here's the thing. Because we are one person, we need to keep things as clean as possible. If things are not clean, our character will get very angry and uh, will basically just go crazy and die. What in the world? Oh, okay, that guy exploded. I'm trying to catch him. And let's see, a combat, is a combat supplier. Well, as we can see, you know, all this good stuff is happening here. <laughs> they are going to start uh, clearing some zombies for us. Uh, we're not going out there anytime soon, of course. But, uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna make our way over here. As uh, these people probably run for their lives. Okay, sounds good. What is that sound? Blackberry Venge! Oh no! This Blackberry is going after death and Vibars. <laughs> like, I will destroy you! <laughs> oh no, Blacky! <laughs> Blacky the bear! He got jacked. Um, alright. Blacky the bear, no! Okay, so what's going on there? So we need this to get done. Money isn't set any higher. Why are you not cleaning? Oh, everything probably is clean. Let's see. Um, what is it? Beauty? I mean, like this is dirty, right? Yeah, rock rubble. I don't get it. Why isn't it cleaning? Someone turned to a zombie! Oh no! Archleaf! Well, it is what it is. that probably is, is those white zombies opening doors. There's probably doors over here that they're opening. So they're following him around. Where are some of the other places that they can... Where are some of the other doors? I think that's what's happening. I think that's what that sound is. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, whatever it is. Okay, so we have 124 zombies on the screen. I'm I'm kind of happy he hasn't he isn't thinking about bashing down our doors because that would be a problem for us. And then we need to take this, we need to install this as well. Just a little bit deeper, I think. What happened? Was it the exploder zombie who just blew up? Sounds good. There's this white zombie that's trying to make his way over to us, but he can't. You know, then I would really like you to clean. So how about... We cancel that one. What do you do now? But clean is set to one, so you should be cleaning. You're probably angry because it's an ugly environment, but you're not cleaning anything. I don't get it. He would clean before, but he's not cleaning now. Which is kind of weird.
Um, hmm. Right. I don't understand why he isn't cleaning. I have an idea. Wait, before we do that, let's let's copy our priorities. So it's less of a pain to get to. <laughs> what do I have to do to force you to clean things? You are literally assigned to nothing else. Manhunter back. Oh no, manhunting porcupines. Well, <laughs> they did it. We are all so impressed. <laughs> now you're just wandering. You can clean, right? That is possible, right? Yeah, it is. I don't understand why you're not cleaning. That would be why. There. Now, they clean. Excellent. Let's paste this back in. And uh, we're good to go again. Okay, so he'll get all that clean so he'll not freak out and be upset. We have enough stones maybe to build that. So... And our character doesn't get bothered by darkness, so let's go to furniture. Let's go to bed. A granite bed, because why not? We need 45. A cozy mattress of sheets and a bed to rest on. Yeah, it's cozy, alright. Um, <laughs> let's go make it first. Let's see. It will be a horrible granite bed. Atrocious. It's normal. What do you know? Alright, then. So whenever you want to rest, you can go do that. Alright, we need to actually let this get mined again. So we can go over here and just shoot at zombies all day. Give them something to do. A polar bear revenge! Because <laughs> they just jump in there and start ripping them apart. What in the world? Uh, okay. He's like flustered or something. Angry. Now just watch. Like the enemy will be able to like cross this somehow and get to us. We'll be like WTF is this? Stop it. Get some help. Where's that other door? It's right here. So you don't want that to hold open, but we do want to reinstall it. Uh, there. I do like how he does it. He like does something and then immediately cleans. Now you understand the purpose of this door. <laughs> Okay, that works. He's trying to get in. We don't want him to. And so, really, we're going to set up a lot of defenses here where they can't really get to them. So we can sort of plan those out already. Uh, we can go to planning and we can say that these are going to be a lot of impassables. So they can't get to us. So we don't want something here. But if we put it there, that's okay. Um, we might have to recess a little bit, but the idea will be eventually that um, there's basically just blocks like here. So this is going to look like is like this. So we can now take that. We can copy these plans. And we can just you know, do this. And those will be where our turrets are.
Now we want them to be as like uniform as we can get them. While also being behind this this layer of impassable terrain. As long as they can't get to us physically, then we are good. And this means we'll eventually have to put some longer range stuff here, but each one of these are also going to have a wall on either side of them. Like that. And then a door behind each one of them. That door is going to give us access while also protecting everything behind it. So that when these things eventually explode from, you know, getting shot by enemies or something, it doesn't cause a massive explosion and kill us. That will be great. Not killing us, the, uh, not killing us part. Right, so let's delete some plans here. So it looks like that is probably the extent of where we want to go. And so that should be all right. Okay. So if we want to, we can now just sort of train shooting for a while. But that isn't actually what we want to do. So he's going to start stone cutting. He's going to clean first. And then he'll stone cut. Now we need to do something else here. It is, I think, floors, fungal grove, fungal gravel. And this can only, this is specific for tunnelers, but it's a special floor that you can put on these. What this does is this lets you grow a sort of plant out here. The other thing we can do is we can sort of start working on this to an extent. Um, this actually needs to go backwards. So we need to cut plans. We need to move it back a few. Because otherwise, we would have to build something over this, and we can't do that. Now, what we also want to do is we're going to eventually need to carve this out so these turrets can shoot out. Uh, and really, what we want is for raiders and such to try and get over here, and there'll be some sort of, I don't know, kill box that they have to go into that leads, like, in, I suppose. But the primary idea is going to be that we can just shoot them to death while they're out here, instead of them getting in. But, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll see what we can do, I suppose. Let's go ahead and hide those. And let's get to work. Alright, so. That all works. We are cleaning some dirt. And then we're making these. Now these are great. Let's also hide the plans. Because now we can go to zone and create a growing zone, I think, over these. And this growing zone, it can only grow mushrooms. So neutrofungus, I think is what it is called. It can only grow that. But it has to be at a slightly better temperature. It's kind of where this door comes in. Now we are going to need to expand a little bit. Create our own sort of room. And we need to warm this up. So the heater might be able to do that for us. I'm not sure if it actually can. However, we have lots and lots of stuff. So hopefully, we can uh, deal with this and uh, not have any major problems. That's probably a bit too ambitious at the moment, so let's give ourselves a 6x6 six six room as we get this made to expand this zone. Is all fine so far. And how much construction experience are you getting for this? A lot or a little? 
Watch two of them right in a row. No construction experience. That's fine. A transport pod. Um, he's probably delicious. He's an undergrounder. Um, but he's kind of far from us. And getting out to him would be incredibly dangerous to us. So he's going to be absolutely tasty. Right. Plus, we uh, we don't want to share our meals with them. So, we're going to get all this done. We'll probably mine this out. And we're going to have a massive, like, fungal grove here to feed us after a certain amount of time. Colonists needs names, now nah, we're good. Okay, so... Praying, recreating, that's only going to last for so long that we're going to need something a little bit better. And, uh, well, he's tasty, right? Oh, yeah. He's super tasty. He's the tastiest that there's ever been. Okay, so we're getting this done. And we're going to need to build another door. Because we want to insulate this from this. This might be too much for that one heater to, to uh, take care of, but we'll see. So we need to go to structure. We need to go to doors. We're going to make a granite door because we, we have very limited steel. A bulk goods trader. That's not going to be good for them. <laughs> oh no. They'll have like super weapons. They, they might just clear a bunch of this for us. <laughs> With their super technology. Oh no! The Muffalos went down! As they're running for their lives. Alright, nice. They, they managed to get out of here. Um, alright. That's good building this next door. Now then, what I want you to do is to do this. Mind those two real quick. Just do that for me. And so we're going to take this. We're going to install this here. We're going to take that and install that there. It's going to be very important. Okay. So we're going to take this and expand this zone to fill all of this good stuff. I'm guessing that is them opening doors. But I'm not sure. Oh no! Missy! Because I know that the albino zombies can open doors. Oh good, it's just warm enough. Just put neutral fungus in there. As long as this stays cold, though, we should be fine. Oh, well, that's a problem. <laughs> All those. I need. I need this to not warm up. Uh, uh, anywhere but there. <laughs> that's the answer. Anywhere but there. 
Uh, allow all. Close those doors. I need this to stay cold. Cool, damn it, fan. <laughs> Move. <laughs> I don't care about anything else. That's nice. Now move this. What do you mean it's too heavy? I don't get it. Like, it, he can put everything in here. Hold it already. Move it or destroy it. I don't care which. Just, as long as this doesn't get up to like 30, we're fine. But, well, that's open. This is going to drop in temperature. Okay, do these then. And reinstall that here. Okay. And then, like, these need to move. So, just work on this until you cleared these. Because they need to not be there. I know it sucks, but for some reason you won't move these on your own. And I need those closed. Now you can go do whatever you want. Um, so I can create a stockpile zone here. Here and there. No, no, no. That shrink. And let's put another one there. And this stockpile zone is literally nothing. <laughs> and this one is also nothing. Okay, then. What is wrong with you? And why are you upset? Your recreation starved. Well, you could be recreating right now. You're just choosing not to. It's probably because he's bored with everything. So. Let's go and um, make whatever we can. Uh, let's put this here. I don't have wood. I need wood for that. Um, I guess there. That works. Then, because that is now our multi, pretty much everything sort of setup, we're going to put a, a dining chair there to maximize comfort. And then some sort of tabla. So, table. Excellent. Let's put it there. Alright, fam, do not go berserk and crazy and try to get outside. Because if you do, we're going to have problems. I like how we can use this without building it. Oh, I guess you already built it. Well, that works. Wow, that was the fastest built table ever. Okay, well that works. His mood's a little bit better. This is the hardest chess table ever to make. <laughs> okay. So, Nutrifungus... Uh, yeah, it's, it's just on the border between... Too hot, too cold, I guess. So as soon as we can, we need to make another heater. Let's see, can we actually make heaters right now? Yes. Cool. We're going to put that there. 
Right, relaxing safely, announce goes. At a certain point, we're going to need to research hydroponics. But we need to get a food supply going first, and uh, then things should be okay over here. We need to get clothing going before a lot of other stuff. Now, there is some free stuff over here. However, I think there are also zombies over here. Yeah. However, we could get some stuff. Repair shelf. Medic bag. Ammo pack. Some chem fuel. That could be useful. A nun dress. What is that? Megaslop wool punching bag. All right, sounds good. We can also have a steel square chair and some Eltex vest. That could be useful. Blue cat lily ratkin utility vest. Oh, you get some nice stuff out here if we want to risk going out there. Thing is, going out there is actually a huge risk. Okay. Digging at granite, then hopefully building these things. Alright, so this should be back into uh, good growing temperature. Dying because exposed to light. Oh, that's right, because of these. Well, we need to recess those a little bit. work. Go ahead and work on this. What do you mean, no path? Uh, let's uninstall that temporarily. Do it. Do this. Excellent. <laughs> Reinstall it. <laughs> cool. So we're going to reinstall this there. Reinstall this one there. And reinstall this one there. Okay, that's good. That one's lit, and these are all okay. Okay. That should be alright. Over here will be sort of our impromptu work area. But let's see. Nutrifungus, this requires what? So it's growing time is six days, so it'll take 12 days to actually get grown. And its harvest yield is nine. So if we can get a nutrient dispenser, we can make quite a bit of food. So, that means, where is the nutrient dispenser? Do we have that research? I think we do. Let's see, production. Nutrient paste dispenser. We don't have enough steel. That's okay, we can get more steel. We're going to put that there. We're going to build some hop. We're going to build a hopper. <laughs> Not hoppers. Oh, we'll build three hoppers. So we can put our food in there. Um, actually, we're going to want this in the cold area, in the cold rooms. So let's cancel those. And, uh, yeah, we're going to want to put that over here somewhere. I mean, there is nothing stopping us from just, like, putting it here.
I don't know if those have to be like angled to connect to it. They probably don't. And I'm pretty sure these block you. And this is more this is more of the stuff that we want. So we'll do that. Once that is all done, we will install this one over there. That should work fine. Okay, so how much Nutrifungus do we actually need? So we're good here. Let's spend doing cleaning trash. That's fine. Now, yeah, you really do need just as much trash. Okay. We replaced components in something that isn't actually there yet. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. I mean, that works, I guess. Oh, that's not good. Can we repair it faster than he can destroy it? No. No, we cannot. That is one hell of a problem for me right now, because these are actually going to deteriorate. Um, we might actually just be dead. I was kind of hoping that wouldn't happen. Probably all this mining got its attention. Um, can we quickly build a steel wall in front of them? Oh yeah, not good. He's gonna do a ton of damage to those. Yeah, he does a, like a metric ton of damage. Um, yeah, this is a problem. God damn it. Ignore. Build the wall. Um, right. I'm going to need to kill him, but I don't think I can actually kill him easily. I need to lure him away. And I need to... Yeah, there's going to go bad, and then we're going to start to die. Well, that sucks. Right. Unless we can build fast when he can tear down. <laughs> Go, Fed. What, what do you mean? Oh. That'll probably do it. Let's copy those settings. We'll uh, paste them in here as we try to figure out how to not die. Go, Ben! Do it! Well, that's not good. Because we might get bit, and if we get bit, we're probably dead. We need those doors to close. Alright, we have a bite. We're probably fucked. That's great. Thank you, zombie. Well, we need to start clearing these. Um, and we're probably dead. 
They're gonna start busting on that door anyway. Cool, now that's opening. Run away. Then start shooting them. You move faster than they do, so get moving. Excellent work. Shoot him. Okay, well, you know, you did it. We won't know if we're infected for a while. What? Why are they moving away? Try to kill them. Come on, Ben. You need to hit them. Okay, good. They're dead. Um, thank you, beefy boy. Right. Right. So we're probably dead. We won't know for sure for a little bit, though. Let's try to get ourselves closed in here. We can close this off. Why in the world would you go that way, you moron? <laughs> I think at this point this character just deserves to die. Good. Yeah, this character's probably super dead. Especially after that. We'll have to make sure that we... have some sort of uh, additional barrier, I suppose. That's good. Shoot this one. Just far enough away where we can get some shots off. Okay, well that works. Is it dead? I think it's dead. Kill that one. We need to lure them over here. 
Yeah, but without getting stuck in melee. Keep shooting him. Right. So many bites. Oh yeah, we're screwed. All right. Well, this has been fun. Let's go uh, try it again. All right. So what we need to do next time, essentially just doing the literally the exact same thing we did last time, is um, oh wait, we went too fast. We went too far. We're like every Keanu Reeves movie ever. They went too far. They knew too much. We knew too much. They went too far. We went too far. Keanu Reeves and lots of zombies. Oh no! <laughs> right, we're gonna paste those in again. And let's do pretty much literally the exact same thing we did last time. But ever so slightly better. So... We have some... We have a very strict requirement for a map. And that is that there is deep water touching the mountain. And that's really it. We also don't really want those. We want hills. That one would be nice, but the deep water is not touching it. Um, that's nice. There's a lot of deep water touching that. Let's keep that one in mind. As we uh, spend some time looking for some place good, looking for some place that doesn't suck. That would be okay if it was deep water. That one would also be okay if it was deep water. Um, so what did we learn? So that initial little box that we create is good only for the very beginning. And then after that, we essentially need to start, we need to make a labyrinth that the enemies need to go through to actually get to us. Because that labyrinth is what we are going to use to defend ourselves. I can't tell from looking if that's, if that's actually secure. I can't blow the map up. That one looks secure-ish. Or is it better than the one that was over here? Was it here? Uh, I think this one's better. We're going to go with that one. Alright, so. Don't care. Let's go. Alright, sounds good. What's our point at? Well, you know, not too bad. We can get one more meal out of that. Sounds good. Let's go.